Hello, everybody. Um, I know it's been a long time since you saw me on camera. I have no idea how presentable I am, how my hair is, and I, I really don't know. And right now, I don't really have time to care because I don't have a whole lot of time to film. But I feel like I owe you guys an explanation because this has been a very rare, quiet week on the channel. You know, ever since I started the Patreon thing, it's been a big deal for me to keep pushing out videos, random reviews on you know, three times a week, streams, you know, unless schedule prevents it, and, you know, if I can make a video for the weekend, I'll make a video for the weekend, which I want to do more of, you know, whether it's just, like, normal vlog stuff or bigger reviews. I'm work, I'm rescheduling, I'm reworking how I film things to make that happen, but uh, this has been a very, very quiet week. I hate doing that to you guys. I love pushing out content for you to watch, but um, this has been a big week of change around here and it doesn't look like it because I know what you're looking at like you're looking at this big wall and it's the same wall you guys have always seen but some of you have noticed differences from the last time you saw the big toy wall for instance you might notice my animated toys are now on the big wall of three shelves you might notice that my Beast Wars toys are now over here instead of in the middle you might even notice that there's Cybertron toys here and here, completely broken up. The more astute and the more eagle-eyed viewers will notice that all the bookshelves on this side are now identical. Well, aside from color on here, but they're all the same height, they're all the same design. It looks pretty even and smooth now, right? Here's what happened. I got sick of the old room. I think at some point I got so obsessed with keeping my all, my entire collection on display at all times that I completely neglected things like living space, comfort, um, actually having a bedroom like a normal human being. Uh, it just got too crowded. It just got too cramped and all of a sudden this just didn't feel like a room anymore. It felt like a museum that I happened to have a bed in. And I just, I wanted more space to live. And I was tired of keeping myself cramped in. So a lot has changed. Like, I've been going from morning to night to late night, ever since Tuesday, reorganizing things, pushing shelves around. Like, the, there used to be bookcases here, and the ones that are now there used to be over here. At one time, I was pushing and sliding these things around like I was trying to open up a door in Zelda. It literally felt like that sometimes, because these are heavy. <laughs> okay. But the end result is this pretty much looks the same. There's still some rearranging that has to be done. I want to get the Cybertron toys back together, etc., but it's when we look around the other sides of the room that things are very, very different. And I'm going to take you through a quick little new room tour just to show you just how much has changed. Well, for starters, there's no longer a bookshelf behind my bed, so I don't have to clash in all my G1 toys when I wake up anymore. I've got this one that's mostly acting as a nightstand for now, storage space. And all my Glyos stuff is now on these nice little walls. The Glyos toys fit very well in like acrylic nail polish displays. Strangely enough, it actually makes a really cool kind of floating display for them. I used to have this huge case full of them on display at all times, but I'm going to limit it to this corner from now on. Just because, wow, man, they build up fast. But that's the most minor change you probably didn't even notice. Here's the big one. Behold, new desk. The, now, this does not seem like a big deal, but keep in mind, the desk that I have been using has been the same desk that I was first shooting reviews on when I started my YouTube channel. I first started doing reviews because that desk had a big wide open space that I could just shoot videos on, and it was kind of easy to do that way. Well, um, eventually I got so shelf obsessed, I cut that desk in half so I could put a fifth bookshelf in this room and then you kind of realize at that point I should have realized the problem wasn't the number of shelves I had the problem was just me not being able to uh, to deal with packing my toys away like a sane collector would so I was dealing with this tiny little desk with no little space with no actual space to it for a long time this one much bigger much more open if I want a dual monitor I can dual monitor now uh, space for all the new stuff, 
But I'm going to try and take care of it. I don't know how this is going to change. I might, we might make it look a little bit more scenic if I want to do videos with this as a backdrop. But for now, it's just personal effects, things that have some more merit to them. Ceramics that I've painted, custom glyos that I've done, a uh, little camera from when Matt was visiting, that kind of thing. So, I'm proud of this. I'm happy with this. Someone on t One of my fans on Twitter has the exact same desk, and he already showed me uh, what his looked like. So... This was cool. If you didn't look, if you didn't follow the adventure of this, my the instructions for putting this thing together got kind of snarky and you know faux clever. So that's uh, that was that was rather amusing. But this should make things a lot easier for me. And the best part about this is, if you notice, blank wall. Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a blank wall in this room? It's been a long time. I don't know what to do with it yet. I might just leave it open. It's open space. It's walking room in this room that normally does not have any. So I'm not entirely sure. I think I think I want to put a green screen up because I've never been able to do green screen before. Or I want to put up like a permanent reviewing thing because I normally just have to set up a table and the boards and the cameras and all that. It'd be much easier if I could just slide over, film, slide back to edit might do it that way too have not entirely decided yet but it should be interesting like i'm honestly kind of looking forward to getting to work in this new space and figuring out what exactly this is going to be probably green screen though it's going to be limited because it's kind of small but i'm hoping it makes the process easier and i'm hoping it just makes this place feel like i can move around again and there's a few other changes that have gone on here and there. I might as well show those off too. So this is where all of my uh, Glyos figures used to be. Clearly not the same anymore. This is one of the old bookcases that moved off the wall. Just so I have a little bit more storage space. And like actual storage space. Because there's bins for parts from figure arts and all kinds of Japanese figures that come with extra hands, heads, whatever. Uh, all the extra Glyos bits are in here. Uh, a few other things. This is all the stuff that used to be on the desk. These are all of my web divers. It's a complete set of web divers, which I'm quite happy about. And then this, I've not quite decided what's going to... I'm not quite sure what's all going to happen up there yet. But this got a complete overhaul. So uh, that's how that corner looks. And if you're wondering where everything else ended up in this room, then you have to kind of look down here underneath the bed. One of the other big changes was... Switching up an old box spring to platform frame, which allows all the storage space in the world I could ever want. Slide out. That's where all the toys are now kept. You can see spare common Rider belt straps and other kinds of tokusatsu stuff in here. There's at least four bins under there for transformers and whatnot. Space for future ones to go into and pretty much just get them out of the way. Pretty much anything that I was just tired of looking at ended up in there, which goes for Armada, <laughs> a lot of the movie toys, as in all but one, and a bunch of others, just like just to thin the herd. The new rule is if it doesn't fit on the shelf, then it either has to replace something on the shelf or it has to go in here. You know, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to try and have everything out at all times anymore. I'm going to restrict myself to just those three bookcases. If it doesn't fit there, then it does not uh, like it does not warrant getting new shelves. Now the big thing about a change like this is I do acknowledge what this means just psychologically. This is me kind of transitioning from the hardcore collector that has to have everything out all at once and has to show off everything he has on display to just your standard toy collector. I keep my favorite stuff out and I put away the rest or I send them off to eBay when I get tired of them. It's a bit of a maturing, bit of a growing up process, which is kind of weird to say at my age, but nevertheless, it is kind of me accepting that this part of my life is kind of slowing down. Uh, that doesn't mean this is all going away, Still got plenty of bad toys to review. Still have plenty from Armada that I've never touched. And, of course, like, look at this. I could do a random review every day for, like, three years, and I would still have material. 
So it's not like it's all going away anytime soon. It's just somewhere in my head, the collector in me is becoming less important and the rest of my life is becoming more important. And I want to get, I want to kind of clear up my life of the clutter overall. Like you get to this point where it just becomes a wall of color and it becomes hard to see like the individual toys and characters anymore. And I will admit this is still a lot to take in visually, but I think it's, I think right now it's a happy little medium point between, you know, packing everything away and having everything stuffed out. Now, I could show you the other corner of the room where the TV is. That pretty much looks the same. All my Amiibo, all my game stuff, all the Kamen Rider wall, it's all pretty much what you saw the last room door. But uh, that's not... Uh, that's not off limits. I'm probably going to thin a lot of that down too. But this, I just wanted, I really just wanted to show you this because, well, people have been telling me, do another room tour. Well, there's not a whole lot to show off, really. But I did want to just come on here and explain where all the videos were this week and what the big deal is. Because, like, literally, I put in like 17 hour days to get this room in this condition, to get everything moved get everything cleaned up, everything packed away, everything changed over, bed frame changed, desk changed. It was a lot of intensive work and it's still not quite done because as I said some of the shelves have to swap around and a lot of the shelves are still in kind of disarray. I need to figure out what exactly I'm going to do with them. But for the most part this is pretty much how the room's going to look if I do videos in the future. Of course I'm going to do videos in the future where I'm on camera. This will be the backdrop. So this is like the official Plastic Addict display now. Because I do feel like it's important to have a backdrop that's actually kind of indicative of what you actually do. So with all that said, I'm hoping to get back to some major reviews soon. I've got, I've got like seven Plastic Addicts in mind. I was like halfway through writing one when I realized, oh wait, I can't find the toy that I was going to review. So that one got, that one ground to a halt. I got more in the works. Uh, May, I'm going to make a busy month from here on out. We're not going to miss any more random reviews. We're not, uh, hopefully not going to miss any more streams. And weekends are going to be much more punchy. I've got vlogs I want to do I, that are not just updates. They're like actual talking things that we can do to, w together. And I want to hear your opinions on them. And I want to get TJ reviews out because I've got an X9 Ravage over there that's really special that I want to do a big review of. I've got a I've got a Devastator over there that I need to do a review for, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, hopefully this month will actually go to plan, because my plans have not been working out so far this year. But I think this is a good start. Like, I'm sorry to take the week off, but this was really important to me, and hopefully this leads to better videos, better productions, and hopefully the start of something really cool. So, whenever I see you guys again, next video, next stream, whatever it is, uh, hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, welcome to the new room.